Halloween heartthrob and for today's craft you'll need some fake flowers and some Sculpey. And you'll start off by taking your Sculpey and making a circle. To figure out how much Sculpey you need, just kind of fit it in the flower and see what fits. This project works best if you have a flower with shorter petals. Take that circle and cut it in half. I made a small full circle and two half circles, one of them are hollow, and I'm going to bake them according to package instructions. Once they are out of the oven and cooled, I start to paint them to look like eyeballs. Once that paint has dried, you'll want to cover your eyes in a layer of Mod Podge. It gives them some strength and it makes the eyes look glossy. Once the Mod Podge is dry, go ahead and hot glue your eyes in the middle of the flower. Now use a lot of hot glue because the Sculpey's a lot heavier than these fake flowers. If you can't make your own eyes, you can easily buy some doll eyes. This eye was made specially for me. And now you have some creepy floral decor. And of course, your flowers look fabulous in your painted jar from the other day's video. For our next quick craft, you'll need another plain jar. I'm painting the lid black to start off with. And you'll need some cheesecloth. You can get this at pretty much any craft store. And you want to cut a nice long piece and take that piece and cut strips out of it. Once your strips are already cut out, you'll want to go ahead and paint your jar a light color of white. It doesn't need to be super opaque. Once your jar is dry, you'll go ahead and hot glue those cheesecloth strips to the jar. Now be careful, this cheesecloth is very thin and you might burn yourself. Once you've accumulated enough layers of cheesecloth, you'll want to add one of the most important pieces, googly eyes. After you've glued the googly eyes on, you can go ahead and give it a proper face. This is Halloween, so we're gonna make it a little bit spooky by adding some angry eyebrows. And the eyebrows just aren't enough, so let's dirty this mummy up. And once the paint and water mixture is dry from dirtying up your little jar, you can place a tea light inside and your little mummy jar glows. 